Hi, everyone. We are on day four of the Money Clarity Challenge. Okay, so today we are talking about payables and receivables. Sorry, that's kind of harsh. Um, payables and receivables. Okay, so what does this mean? Oh, it says my connection is weak. Does that mean it's not working? Still working? Okay. Okay, so I want you to start by big breath in and release. Okay, and let's repeat our affirmation. I listen to my heart and I know why I'm here. Today I choose to pursue that dream and invest in myself because that's what you're doing. You're investing in yourself and your business. Okay, down to business. Payables. Payables come into um, two main categories. One is um, supplier, like is called payables, your accounts payable. These are things that you buy or services that you buy where the supplier gives you some time to pay, right? So um, seven days, 30 days, whatever it is, you get a little bit of time to um, pay your bill with them. So it might be a product that you order, it might be a service that you get, even something like your, your telephone bill is a payable because you don't have to prepay it usually, right? So the other uh, category of uh, money that is owe, that you owe is debt. I think we all know what debt is and debt can suck. Um, but I want you to challenge yourself to rethink debt, okay? And re, re, um, reset how you look at debt because debt can be a really good thing if you use it to your advantage. For example, if you invest in, um, say, a software thing um, that's going to uh, create some kind of efficiency in your business, so that, say, it costs you $600, and um, so you, that's, you put it on your credit card, say, and you pay the $600, and you load up the software, and immediately it attracts uh, four or five new clients and then you get some more money or the payment process is easier for your clients and you get your money faster um, and then when that bill comes in in 30, 30 days you pay it off with the money you just made right so that's the really really good way to use credit and that's a justifiable justifiable debt. Do I recommend that you um, get into huge amounts of credit card debt? No, I don't. Uh, but there's a difference between investing in your business in an efficiency or something that you need um, to be able to make that money within one or two months and paying that off. So if you have other debt, you need a debt repayment plan. Um, we talk about that in our other courses that I do and um, it's it, it is actually really simple to get your debt paid off so those are the payables part of um, your business and on the PDF I, I've asked you to list uh, what suppliers give you terms so what suppliers are your accounts payable um, and if you have any currently and their balances and then what debt you have and really the best thing you can do even though it's kind of uncomfortable is to put it all out there so put everything every amount you owe even if you owe like your brother five dollars like put it on the sheet like let's get real part of this is about getting real so let's get real figure out how much do we actually owe right now today what is it? Okay, second, receivables. 
Receivables, very simply, are money that is owed to you. One, why do customers owe you money? Um, if you provide a service or give them a product, they should not owe you money. Uh, you should, if you're a service provider and it's a project-based thing, you take a retainer or a deposit. If it's um, a regular monthly service, you bill them up front. Your clients should never owe you money. That should never happen. It does happen because people are uncomfortable about having a conversation around money, so they let it slide. That's not what needs, that doesn't work for anybody, right? Remember the whole thing about your business is that you provide a service or a product, your customer happily pays you for that service or product, and it's an energetic exchange. It's a circle that goes round and round, and it makes everybody's life great. So the fact that somebody isn't paying you is a problem. The problem is your problem because you are uncomfortable having a conversation about money. You are uncomfortable asking that person to pay you. And that's part of money blocks, which we talk about tomorrow. Yay. Okay. So there's ways to get around that. Obviously I said, um, you take a retainer, uh, you take, um, you bill up front, all that kind of stuff. Um, uh, there are recurring payment options. So if you, if you bill out to clients in FreshBooks or Wave or something like that, um, your client can set it up. Uh, when you send their invoice, they can set up their own credit card on there so that it, every time you issue an invoice, it's gonna charge that card. You need to have a separate agreement with your client that they're okay with that and that there's going to be a set amount that's going to happen all the time. So if it's like a monthly contract, I have one of those. It's a monthly contract. It's always 125 bucks. Um, it just gets paid on my credit card, just like your phone bill or whatever, right? Um, you can do that in FreshBooks and Wave and probably a whole bunch of other things, but those are the two that I know. Um, the other thing you can do is set up a PayPal recurring payment button. So um, if you're willing to sell somebody something and give them uh, payment options, three payments of 500 or, you know, whatever it is, um, do that on a payment pal or a PayPal, a recurring payment button. That's the best way to do that. And then you don't have to remember to go in and charge the card. Uh, it just gets charged. Um, those are really great things. The other thing that comes up about payments from clients is um, this weird kind of thing about like, oh, I don't want to accept credit cards because I have to pay the 3% merchant fee, blah, 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 blah. Okay, would you rather get your money and lose 3% um, or would you rather wait for a check in the mail or, I don't know, somebody to come give you cash or send you an e-transfer? Like, seriously, accept credit cards. Like, let's do business in the real world. Let's accept credit cards. If 3% is going to break you, then there's something wrong with your pricing strategy. Like you have pretty much more serious problems than accepting credit cards because 3% should not break you and 3% should be factored into your price. So that's not a thing. It's not even a thing. Okay. So don't say it. It's not a thing. Don't say it. Um, that accepting credit cards is making it easy for your clients to pay you. So the more ways they can pay you, the better it is. So if you are going to accept PayPal, e-transfers, cash, check, credit cards, debit, that's like the best option ever, right? So um, make it easy. Make it super easy for people to pay you. It's the best thing ever. Okay, so that's it for today. Um, I will upload the PDF. Work through it. I know it can be kind of uncomfortable, right? But seriously, this is your challenge, right? We're getting clear on money in your business. So just work through the questions. 
I think there's like four or five. It's not a big deal. It'll, it will help, I promise you. And tomorrow we're going to talk about money blocks. So if you have any questions, uh, comment here. I will check in later today. Um, and, uh, and we will, um, I will answer any questions and stuff. Um, so just ask your questions or comments or whatever. You need help with something, let me know. And I will talk to you later. Okay, bye.